In this video, I'm going to show you how to crop a leather jacket. I just bought this suede leather jacket and I didn't love the length, so I'm going to show you how to turn it into more of a cropped jacket. For this project, you're going to need a seam ripper, thread, scissors, measuring tape, a hand sewing needle, clips, and a sewing machine needle that's going to be thick enough to go through leather. We're going to start by using our seam ripper to unstitch the zipper. A lot of leather jackets are going to have an inside facing panel, so we're just going to unstitch that from the inside as well as the outside of the jacket. You want to take your time doing this and make sure not to rip any of the fabric. Our main goal is just to separate the zipper from the jacket. And as you can see, when we're ready, we're just going to place the zipper a little higher than it was located before. But before we do that, we're going to unstitch the other side of the zipper as well. So now we have both ends of our zipper detached. We're now ready to decide the new length that we want for the jacket. Make sure to use your measuring tape so that this process is done evenly. As you can see, the jacket folds over at the bottom to create a facing. We want to add this length and seam allowance to the length that we just marked out on our jacket. The length of the facing is up to you. I'm just going to replicate the length that was already existing on my jacket, which is 3 cm plus 1 cm for seam allowance. So I'm going to mark 4 cm down to add to the length. I find to get a more accurate measurement, it helps to measure the length from the bottom. So you can determine the length that you're going to cut away, again keeping in mind the facing and the seam allowance, and then cut away that measurement from the bottom. If you do it this way, you also don't need to use pins because you can just cut along using your measuring tape and your scissors. As you can see, I cut the lining the same length, but I'm going to have to trim that shorter in this step. So you're going to fold over the bottom of your jacket to create that facing as well as the seam allowance. This is where the clips can come in handy. And then you're going to fold over the lining so it hits up against the bottom of the jacket. Then keeping in mind a 1cm seam allowance, you can trim that piece away. That's just for the leather lining. As for the fabric lining, you want to add a 1cm extra so that there's more give when you're wearing the jacket. You can now use your clips to clip in the zipper. All you're doing here is clipping the bottom end of the zipper and then leaving it loose at the top. The reason we're not clipping in the top bit of the zipper is I like to do this in two stages. So now we're just going to top stitch along where we clipped. Now you want to make sure that the zipper toggle is at the bottom of the zipper. We can now measure out the length that we need to cut at the top of the zipper. This will be done by measuring out how much length you need to hit the top of your jacket. And then just trim away the excess and insert the zipper and lock it in with a clip. You're going to do this for both sides of the jacket. You can also do this all in one step if you prefer by trimming the length of the zipper before sewing in the bottom half. To make sure the zipper toggle doesn't fall off the top of the zipper, there is a little metal bit that prevents that from happening. So we're just going to recreate that with a stitch. You just want to make sure that before you put your stitch in, the zipper does not fall off the top or it's really hard, if not impossible, to put back on. So after we're done clamping down the zipper, we can finish our top stitch. And then we want to do a zigzag stitch at the top of the zipper, again just to make sure that the zipper toggle doesn't fall off. And you're going to make sure to do that to both sides. Now that we have our zipper inserted, we're ready to attach the lining to the jacket. We're going to do this by attaching the seam allowance that we left over, right sides together of the jacket and the lining. This will flip your jacket inside out. And so we're just going to pin it along with the clips or with pins, whatever you prefer, all along the edge of the jacket. We will need to keep a small gap to ensure that we can flip the jacket again right side out. This process can be a little confusing, but just make sure that you're putting right sides together of the lining and the jacket and making sure to leave a gap to flip it back right side out. And then you can just sew along where you pinned, again leaving that gap. When sewing, make sure that you're sewing with a 1cm seam allowance. 
You may need to trim around the zipper to make it a little easier to sew. And now with that all done, you can see that you still have the gap to flip your jacket again right side out. So slowly, without ripping any stitches, you're going to flip the jacket. Now everything should be attached except for the center bit that you use to poke the jacket through and we're going to sew that up with our hand sewing needle, making sure that we're just attaching one layer of the jacket and the lining. The final step I like to do to make sure that the jacket lies flat is to do a top stitch around the bottom. I find this just locks everything into place and gives the jacket a cleaner finish. And you're all done! Thank you for watching and if you liked the video please subscribe.